Yeah, the coach, the yeah um, coach told us to um, push the ball backwards. Um, and I seen the um, player's eyes looking like he was about to pass the ball and I just shot the gap. <laughs> You had several hard takes to the basket. How physical was it down there? Uh, it is very physical. You know, every game's like that. Um, playing high major D1 basketball. Um, but, you know, I'm built for it. And Coach Kyle, you know, I said the addition coach helps me with strength, uh, my strength mm -hmm. and um, just taking hits and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Wednesday was tough. Um, you know, we went back to the drawing boards and um, we looked at film. And most importantly, we came out here and fought and we got the win. Um, we talked a lot about positive body language and, um, you know, just being positive and uplifting your teammates. And I feel like today we did that. Yeah, um, you know, we don't really expect to be down or expect to be in a close game. So when we get to those points, we kind of like hold our heads down. And, um, today we were conscious of it and everybody was like, just keep your heads up, keep your heads up positive. And um, it helped us you know, pull off the win. Does the offensive approach change at all when you guys are struggling to knock down threes like you have been in the last few games? Um, no, we have shooters, um, and I'm confident that we're going to start making shots. Um, we just got to take the right ones and um, take them confidently. How much of a spark do you think Ian could be off the bench and kind of show to Yeah, um, this is Ian that we see every day. Um, you know, he's just tremendous. He can shoot it, he can score it. Um, he was a really great defender, and um, he kind of showed the whole package today, so I'm happy for him. On that breakaway, he threw the ball backwards to Dante. Did you? Was that a no look? <laughs> um, yeah, I just heard Dante screaming like fast, fast. <laughs> and you know, we we've been in those situations yeah. for um, a lot of time, you know, in high school and stuff like that. So when I hear him, mm -hmm. I, I just trust my um, my ears mm -hmm. and trust the helm, and I just threw it behind me. Did you see him dunk it, or were you out of the play at that point? I seen him dunk it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was as hype as he was. <laughs> What's your biggest takeaway from the game today, and how are you going to use that moving forward at your next game? Um, just to win, like um, nothing's more important than getting the win. Um, we grinded it out. Um, Hofstra is a really good team. Um, they shot the ball tremendous today, and they have some really good guards. Uh, but you know, we just grinded it out and got the win. We stayed positive, and, and we just on to the next one now. Have you been to the Bahamas before? <laughs> yeah, my freshman year, I went to the Bahamas for um, our overseas trip at Mazda School. So. How do you think a trip like that and then just a few days off from games can help the team moving forward? Yeah, I hope we locked in. You know, we're in the Bahamas, so <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't it should be tough, but, you know, you kind of you might fall in the trap but it just feel like a vacation. But um, I feel like we're going to be locked in, and we have some really good games out there, and we should be prepared for them. Wow, the turnaround is that just to be in a game like that where they have the ball and the shot clock off and you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to run it down to the last one and then the next thing you know, you guys have a chance to win. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it was kind of, it was like nerve wracking a little bit, but, you know, we just have a lot of players that can make big time plays. Like, Eric made a big time defensive play. And, you know, that's just the type of player he is. And I have confidence that any other player on this team could have did that. And, then, you know, it's just amazing to, to play with uh, people like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.